Hi, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the New Variety Art Show. My name is Brad Zinn, and I'll be your host as we prepare to meet another variety artist of the 90s. You know, the folks that we have on this show, and we've had some terrific guests, uh, are really the stars of variety arts entertainment. The, uh, the magicians, the clowns, the mimes, the hypnotists, the jugglers, the ventriloquists, puppeteers, belly dancers, singers, comedians, and uh, mo all, all, many, many more, too numerous to mention. And uh, we want to give you the chance to meet these people one-on-one -on -one and uh, hear their story so that when you have a chance to see them perform live and in person, you'll appreciate what they do just a little bit more. And here's, uh, here's something else we'd like to have you keep in mind. We want you to uh, be sure and contact us and let us know what you think about the show. Uh, before we do that, uh, before we talk a little bit more about that, I want to introduce our musical director, Mr. Van Corriton. Thanks, Brad. Hi, Van. Thanks for being here again. Oh, it's fun. We've had such a variety lately, but I'm still looking for those belly dancers. Well, you know. stay tuned because we may just have a surprise for you You're today. You're kidding. Yes, yes. You know, we're still, uh, we're still taping in the month of March here. I don't know exactly when right. this will be aired, but the uh, primary, you know, we're in the presidential election year. And I'm sure you've been following the uh, the uh, the clowns. Yeah, yeah the, <laughs> the clowns, the variety artists of the right. pol political world. Well, I'll say this about the candidates, though: they're really trying to put their best foot that's forward. Right. It's getting it out of their mouths that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's the rough part. <laughs> and you know, I've noticed uh, George Bush, President Bush, uh, mm. reminds me an awful lot of a cat. Have you noticed that? No. Well, he keeps licking himself with his own tongue. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he'll be able to get out of trouble. Well, folks, uh, we uh, want to encourage you to be in touch with us here on the New Variety Art Show and let us know what you think about the show. And call us at this number. As always, the area code is... If you have an idea for a show or a comment, we'd love to hear from you. It makes it all worthwhile for us taking the time to do this show. We want to hear from you. And if you have a Variety Arts event coming up sometime in the near future, let us know. We'll do our best to mention it here on the program. And June the 25th at Phoenix College, I'll be doing my full evening show, oh. Van, uh, for the Phoenix Breakfast Civitan Club. When? And that's uh, June, 25th June 25th at Phoenix College. Tickets will be available at the door, and we're going to do a whole evening of magic. Should be a lot of fun. Great. Well, you know, we have a very interesting couple of guests today, two right. guests, as a matter of fact. And, you know, you You've been hit, uh, kidding me and, and, and uh, encouraging me to get some belly dancers yes. right here. So just for you, Van, I brought two belly dancers here today. Oh, you snake. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, they have the snake. They have a snake? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to meet uh, the snake as well. Oh. They are a performing group in the Valley for both public and uh, private events. They dance in groups and they dance individually for belly grams. You know, belly if you want to surprise uh, somebody with a belly gram, ah. they do that kind of thing. Uh, they also have a dance studio where women come to learn the ancient art no of man, belly dancing. Just, just well, I guess you could, but there you wouldn't be a lot of call for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. And uh, we have a clip of some of the Alibaba uh, cabaret belly dancers in action. So watch your TV uh, as we take a look at the Alibaba cabaret belly dancers. When we come back, we're going to meet a couple of them live and in person. Stay tuned.
You're watching the cabaret belly dance, or the Alibaba cabaret belly dancers, I should say, and uh, we've had to issue muzzles to all of our crew members here in the studio uh, <laughs> and issue towels to wipe up the drool. Uh, uh, you know, we've been uh, talking about having belly dancers for quite a while, and we finally got them here. We'd like to introduce you to our guests. Uh, Joyce Daniels and uh, Lisa LaMonica of the Alibaba Cabaret Belly Dancers. And uh, Joyce uh, has a, uh, a Middle Eastern name that you go by. It's Badia, is that yes. correct? And Lisa goes by Saliha. And that's yes. when you're performing, those are the names you use. So we'll uh, try to keep that in mind. And uh, we want to thank you for being here. We've uh, talked about this for a long time, and you finally made our dreams come true. Now, before we go any further, uh, Joyce, before I talk to you about this, I uh, want to compliment you. have a very nice asp here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us, we're going to talk about this in just a minute. Uh, snakes are a part of uh, belly dancing uh, by tradition, I think, and we'll ask you about that a little later. Meantime, I want to talk to you about the history of uh, belly dancing, the art of belly dancing. How long has that been around? Where did it originate? Well, it's a very diversified art form, and it actually, different parts of it originated, some of it from India, some of it from the Middle East, but it's just kind of come up through the ages and geographical areas, and it's very diverse. There are many, many different little uh, sprouts, Nuances. yes, uh -huh. and everyone can uh, do their own thing, more or less. It's, a, it's more of a dance of self-expression uh -huh. is what makes it so fascinating a lot of times, because any any of the girls in our group could dance to the very same music and no two people would do the same type uh -huh. of dance. How long have you been belly dancing? About 11 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go to, uh, let's uh, talk to Lisa here for just a minute and find out. Uh, now, Lisa is one of your students, is that right, Joyce? No, she's one of our group members. Oh, okay. Well, she has been a student, but I mean, we study back and forth. It's something that you, you continue learning as long as you dance. Uh -huh. Lisa, thanks for being here. Thank and you. Uh, how long have you been uh, dancing the art of belly dance? Oh, about three or four years, but over a 10-year span. I see. And do you, uh, do you perform regularly uh, somewhere, or is this just currently, kind of a hobby with you? Well, currently I'm not, but we take anything that we can find that um, is a good opportunity for us to get out and perform, uh -huh. and uh, we occasionally do get some things that have a little bit longer contract period of time, I but see. currently like a restaurant I'm not. or something like right. that. Right. Yeah. Well, very good. Joyce, uh, the... Um, uh, well, I can't, the attention is just focused and riveted here on what you're holding, and this is, uh, this is a, a snake that you use as part of your uh, performance. And uh, let me ask you, first of all, do you have a name for the snake, and what kind of snake is it? Uh, this is a Colombian boa. A Colombian boa. Yes. Pop. Has he been passed by uh, customs and all that? Uh, well, <laughs> coming across the let's border. See. He didn't bring any it's, cargo it's, with no, him. No, no, it's an American <laughs> Colombian oh, boa. Oh, I see. Okay. Born in this country, but uh -huh. you know, um, and they are one of the more tractable types of snakes. Some some dancers that use snakes use the boas, and others will use the different type of pythons. Uh huh. But. Uh, like any other animal, once you get them, you know, you have to learn how to take care oh, of them. sure. And they do have different personalities. This particular snake is one of the most tractable that I've ever come across. Now, how, how old is Samantha? I believe she's probably about 14. About 14. How mm -hmm. long do they live? Sometimes, I think, up to 30 years old. Wow, that's great. Depending on, you know, how they're cared for. But they are very susceptible to... And that, of course, is 103 in dog years, so... <laughs> no, no, we're not talking dogs <laughs> oh, here. Oh, okay. No, but they, they can get uh, respiratory infections. They can get fungus diseases. I'm, you know, you think of a snake, you think of a oh, slithery okay. little... But they, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with them. Yeah. So now, one of the things that I wanted to uh, point out, a lot of people think that snakes are, are for some reason, slimy, that they have not. some kind of, they're like a slug or something, but actually this they're is a very dry. smooth, mm -hmm. dry uh, type of thing. And, and, and one thing about the boas, you can stroke the scales either, either direction. direction. You wouldn't want to do that with some other types well, of snakes. Well, no, because the scales will uh, 
go back, if you went forward on them, it would be extremely yeah. rough. You know, Van can play scales both backward and forward, too. <laughs> well, he could play on her scale. <laughs> Do you want to play her scale? No, 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 that's all right. <laughs> Joyce, let's talk about your background a little bit. Uh, where were you uh, born and raised, and uh, uh, well, how long have you been to the Valley? I've lived here almost 25 years. Oh, you're coming close to becoming a native then. I think so, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Where are you from originally? Uh, northwestern Pennsylvania. Northwestern Pennsylvania. Yes. That must be a state I haven't heard of. There. No, oh, it's, it's Pennsylvania right next, in the northwest right corner. It's right next to the state of insanity, and it's a good place to be <laughs> from. Very good place to be Did from. Did you start belly dancing as a, as a young uh, mm -hmm. girl? I can, well, I mean, you're, what I'm you're just trying to find no, out no. how old I am. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> but I mean like when you were a child? Or, no, you know? no, I started, um, I've been dancing about 11 years. Uh-huh. And uh, it was something, you know, I got uh, burned out on aerobics and... And there was a lady at the spa I was going to that was giving uh, instructions, and and uh, it just kind of got to be a, a thing. Uh, an obsession with yes, you, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And because I was into the uh, the sewing and the costuming, and before this, or not this particular type of costuming, uh, it it was an easy transition. Yeah. And uh, you, the more you learn, the less you know, and the more <laughs> you want to know, and. It just keeps going from right. there. Right. Now, let's talk about these costumes uh, uh, because they, they, they can become very, very elaborate. Lisa, do you, uh, uh, do, you do your own costume work? Uh, do you sew yourself? I do. Uh -huh. I do. Um, it's not something that you find at your local department store. So if you want to come up with the costuming that really suits your style of dancing, it's uh -huh. something you create yourself. Right. Now, there, can you talk about the different styles? Uh, do, do, they, do they represent certain, like, uh, countries or regions that uh, the various uh, costumes would represent, say, from India or Turkey or something like that? Or? Well, they definitely can, although most of us use um, Nowadays, we're using a cabaret style because most of the call for dancing is a cabaret style. But there are also a variety of ethnic clothings that you can wear that represent different countries uh -huh. and the music, of course, that is uh, appropriate for that area. Right, right. Is it uh, difficult to find uh, musical accompaniment uh, for what you do in a live situation? Oh, there, yes. Uh, yes. There's <laughs> probably more belly dancers than there are people that play that uh, Very, kind of music. Yes, very much yeah. so. You probably find Fight over uh, what drummers and, and uh. well, <laughs> if you can find one to if fight you, over, <laughs> yeah. If you, we uh, we use mainly taped music, but when we can find live musicians to accompany us, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Now the the art of belly dance, uh, we 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 kid around a lot, but it's. Uh, it, I, I don't think you can deny that it's probably one of the most sensuous uh, forms of dancing uh, that you can do. Is, uh, is the intent uh, to be sensuous? Is that... Uh well, I would say yes. Uh, it has, in the origins there were fertility rites and there were, you know, the, all the dances of the ancient times for, you know, uh, good crops and rain and, and basically it is sensual but it in a very subtle way. It's, it's not uh, as overly provocative as a lot of people would have, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get very misled and they, they equate it with some rather face-reddening dances. Well, it's not what you'd call exotic dancing or what no. we call burlesque no. dancing. No, it's very subtle and very artistic. Mm -hmm. Is belly dance, are there specific moves and uh, things that you do in belly dance that uh, are not found in any other type of uh, dancing? I would say yes, because there is what they call isolation of different body parts, like the, the little head slides that come from the East Indian cultures. Mm. And then there's, you know, the hand and arm movements that uh, the focal point of the dancer herself is on one, let's say one shoulder, or the head movement, mm -hmm. or the hips, where in a lot of other dance forms, the whole body moves in time to the music, right. but everything moves at once, where uh -huh. in this dance, you can move head movement, shoulder movement, arm movement, hip mm -hmm. movement, and then bring the movement back up. And I think this is one of the reasons that it is so uh, hypnotic to the American audience in particular because they don't understand the mechanics of 
of mm. mo this movement. Now you teach uh, belly dancing as well, is that correct? Yes, and well, Lisa's starting to. Oh, also. you're starting to yes, uh, teach I as am. well. Well, uh, well, let's ask Lisa because I think sure. we, we we understand you got bored with aerobics and we're looking for something else to do. <laughs> but what are some of the other reasons that women uh, take up belly dancing? What are some of the benefits of? Uh, Belly well, dancing. I hate jogging. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm not a jogger. So uh, I wanted to find some sort of an activity that I could feel comfortable with, that I felt that I could actually stick with, that would be good for me, get me motivated, help me feel that kind of an energy that we need to survive in today's day and world. Uh -huh. And I really enjoyed dancing. It was very expressive. It's very satisfying. And uh, you can really work out um, what is suitable for your body mm. by dancing as well as express yourself. And it's just a, a very comfortable feeling. Right. So a lot of women take this up then for exercise. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Y yes. Yeah. But also the, the mental benefits are great because it really enhances a, a person's self-esteem. Mm -hmm. You can take people that come to you with very, very low self-esteem and help them to overcome the fact that they don't like themselves. Uh -huh. And it's real rewarding in that respect. I, 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 I really how, like How that. has your life uh, changed, Lisa, since you started belly dancing? All right, may, well, I, may I ask, this is probably an impolite question, are you, are you married? Or I am, you're I married. am. What did your husband think about all this? He thinks it's wonderful. He thinks that it's, it's terrific that I should have something that is so soul-satisfying for myself and expressive. Uh -huh. And um, I, I know that I have heard of other women whose husbands are not real comfortable with it, but uh -huh. my husband feels that it's, if it feels good and it makes you feel good, it's a great thing to do. He doesn't mind you going out and performing then? Not at all. He's lying, he's <laughs> lying, he's <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. No, no. <laughs> See, takes, I got a rise out of joy. No, so. it takes a very secure man to let you do that. I see. We run into a lot of insecure men I see. in this form. Well, now, does belly dancing help you attract? Uh, what do guys, you know, when you're out dancing, do they... Uh, uh, are they are are we all animals? Is what I'm saying. Thank <laughs> God, no, really. Uh, most people are very appreciative, and it's it's very rarely that we run into a rude, suggestive person. Uh -huh. And of course, I've been doing this long enough. I know how. To how to kind of well, I just stick that snake off. in their face, and yeah. that would probably <laughs> deter them. Uh, we want to. Uh, we don't want to run out of time here. We want to give you a chance to dance. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I think you probably want to put I that snake put in the basket, which snake reminds basket. me of something I do on stage, Van. I do a snake in the basket, but it's not uh, a real live snake like this. So, well, this could take a while. Uh, <laughs> Lisa, can you uh, tell us uh, where are some of the places that people could expect to see you perform? Uh, besides, uh, let's say, a restaurant, what other types of places might... Uh well, there are a lot of cultural events around the valley that um, we participate in. Um, I, with this troupe and other troops, have done things such as um, Hello Phoenix, or sometimes they have some other cultural festivals going on that you can find the dancers at. And, um, and bellygrams are popular, and bellygrams, too, is that right? Very now, that's popular. What, uh, uh, would a wife send one of these to her husband? Or? Absolutely, absolutely. Or... Uh, Sometimes we even get them the other direction. If uh, a husband is trying to give his wife a message that maybe she ought to take up this hobby, this I wonderful th I hobby. I think the last time you and I worked together was at a lady's birthday party at a private home. Do you remember that? Yeah, and it was a lady. And I was, I was kind of surprised that Certainly. they had a belly dancer for, for a lady's they, they birthday do. party. But it would yeah. seem to me that it would be a gentleman. That was, uh, I remember that over yeah, in that Paradise was a lot Valley. Of fun. Yeah. So are you, uh, are you prepared to do a little uh, something for us here today? Yes. And, uh, now, I'm, I'm not going to get fresh here. Let me take that off there <laughs> for you. And uh, we're going to present Badia. And uh, if you uh, right. want to take center stage, we'll uh, look forward to seeing belly dance. Van, pay close attention. Now, this is what you've been waiting for. There we go. And we're going to give a test. <laughs> okay. okay.
Very nice, Joyce. And uh, now we're going to be favored by a dance from Saliha. And you want to make sure you have your mic unclipped there. And this is Saliha. Now, we, you'll be using the finger symbols as well. That's interesting the way you can get different. Uh, either they'll, they'll ring or you can mute them. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. that's okay. That's how that makes the different sounds, that sort of thing. All right. Ooh, we're unwrapping the veil, man. <laughs> down, fellas, down. Okay, here we go. Saliha. That's fabulous. Thank you, Saliha and Badiha. And uh, we, uh, we have uh, just a minute or so here to uh, wrap this up, but you don't have any microphones on. So I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to uh, let you do a, a last number. The two of you have something worked up together. And in the meantime, uh, I'm going to say uh, thanks for tuning in and thank you for being here. Joyce Daniels and uh, Lisa, uh, I'm sorry, Lisa LaMonica from the Alibaba Cabaret Belly Dancers. If you have any questions, give us a call at the number you'll see at the end of the uh, program on the screen there. We'd love to hear from you. And I think we could do this every week. Will you come back every week and do this? I think just Van and I will sit here and just watch you dance. <laughs> it would be great. Thanks for tuning in, uh, you out there. And we we'll hope that you'll come back and see us again. And uh, same time next time on the New Variety Art Show. I'm Brad Zinn saying thanks for being here and let's see some more belly dance. Oh, this is my favorite part of the job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, those are some elaborate costumes you have there. Enjoying that.